And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. December has been mild. There's no question about it. The lowest high temperature so far for December was 24 earlier this month. The warmest in the last eight years, including this year, was 27 back in 2015. Now you're thinking, wait a minute. I mean, it was bitterly cold this afternoon. Well, technically a high temperature from midnight to midnight and at midnight earlier today, we had 26 in Green Bay, but Obviously, it was a lot a bit of a different story considering with those gusty winds. It was in the lower teens this afternoon, so a completely different contrast to what we saw yesterday. A little bit of some light snow bands moved through this morning, provided a light dusting of snowfall, but then later on this afternoon, that light dusting pretty much disappeared. It's what you call sublimation. The air temperature is below freezing. It's very dry air, so that snow pretty much goes from a you know, liquid form just completely to a gas form. There's no of that kind of evaporation. Uh, 13 degrees right now went uh, out of the west at 14 miles per hour, and that is causing the feel like temperature of negative two in Green Bay. We've got five in Anago, nine in Pembine, five in Watoma, eight in Oshkosh, and lower teens right along the shoreline. But then when you factor in these winds, breezy after that frontal boundary, Anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour, you are getting the wind chills down into the negative teens, feeling like 10 below in Oshkosh, 12 below in Watoma. This is a nice thing. Hello to winter. It's been pretty much gone so far this season, and the wind chills are not going to be improving anytime soon overnight tonight. Tomorrow is going to be kind of a similar story as well. A couple flurries being reported in parts of Door County, but the rest of us just dealing with a mixture of cloud cover. It's a pretty dry air mass that we're sitting in right now after a big dip in the jet stream after this powerful storm system, which is now propagating off to the east side of the country. Matter of fact, it's even causing some severe weather. There was one report of a tornado in southern parts of North Carolina out of this storm system. As for us, we're just going to be dealing with another cold day as we turn the page for Christmas. A mixture of cloud cover overnight tonight. So with some clearing skies, hopefully that'll help Santa deliver the gifts. Not too much of an obstacle for him as we head into Christmas Day. Quite starts. Looks like you could use the sunglasses. Then as we get into the afternoon, a kind of mixture of our sun and cloud cover as wind flow is going to be out of the northwest and keeping us in the cool side. Wind chills tomorrow. Same story will be cold, but not as cold as what we're seeing the valleys right now. Upwards of about 5 to 10 degree feel like temperatures. So for tonight, we'll drop down to about 11. Not much more than what we're seeing right now. A few locations farther to the west could be approaching near zero if the skies do clear. And then for tomorrow, getting up into the lower 20s, northwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour will make it feel more like the single digits and the lower teens. We do improve, though, by Saturday near 30, lower 30s on Sunday with a chance of some light snow later Sunday night into early Monday morning. And then another system on Wednesday. That'll be something that we'll have to watch out for, John. All right, Gino, thanks so much. Coming up.